Yeah, good afternoon. Yeah. Let's uh, open, open, share the screen. Hmm. Okay, I... Is, is it okay? Coming, yes. The screen is there, yes. Okay. Excellent. Okay. 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 Good. So, structural super publicity from dissipation. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Okay, okay. So, good, good afternoon. Uh, so I understand that now is uh, is is one is very close to one o'clock. So I so I I will try to finish in half hour. Uh, so Ming, uh, my colleague just uh, gave a talk. Uh, Zipin uh, is another uh, one of my, one of my colleague uh, professor in Tsinghua. So. So polyvisibility uh, at the beginning, the defined two contacting surface sliding with no resistance. So the definition uh, this uh, depends on commensurate. So, so the concept appears when the when the surface is commensurately. So that's the, at the beginning. So, uh, so we will starting from this uh, to talk about some uh, concept, and then uh, we'll generalize this concept uh, from the material to conception. So, uh, so I will try to uh, reveal along this line uh, the concept. Uh, so you know, uh, so if we look at the bake. So we can even so from the literature, a, a mathematical model show that when the somehow in commensurate one, di one, one dimensional, they will result in the canceling uh, the, the, the shear resistance. So this experiment, so did by uh, uh, Herano and his colleague, the show you see the sound different from the static and the dynamics. So dynamics is somehow a little bit is a lower friction uh, than the statics, but they're very similar uh, the dependence on the, uh, the mismatch uh, angle. So between the graph, two graphene, uh, two graphite, the frag. And then, uh, but the, but the result, the previous result didn't, the, the friction is still too high, not uh, as expected by theory. So that's zero, nearly zero resistance. So uh, uh, 10 years later, uh, found the friction can be uh, depressed very, very low. But if it commensurate, this order is high, but the limit is a uh, uh, nanoscale, and not only nanoscale, because this is a uh, uh, graphite and uh, graphene uh, uh, the attached on uh, an, an, a nano tip. So this is not it's not exactly a structure. It's is somehow. Uh, Somehow deformation, uh, local deformation uh, introduced. So at the, the later, uh, so we show that uh, with graphite, uh, uh, micro scale uh, graphite flag, the shell self rejection uh, behavior. So this, to understand this, the self rejection behavior. Uh, we found uh, this uh, so-called superiority uh, can achieve uh, in micro scale. So the, the major difference, uh, this is uh, somehow uh, there is a tip, but here is a structure. So this is, uh, uh, you can think this is a frag, the material, only material itself. So in this case, there is a tip and the pressure and so on. 
So that's the different. So, so I will explain, I will take this uh, to clarify the, some, the more uh, different. Okay. So uh, the notion of structure of sobricity, if we look at uh, the beginning, so the, uh, we can uh, the date, date back to uh, the same year, uh, 2004. They assume the rigid body assumption uh, demand uh, valid. They called the uh, structure the lubricity. It's not the super lubricity because uh, the experiment show the friction is still uh, too high. So the structure is uh, particularly uh, means is incommensurate structure. So it's an atomic lattic structure. It's not the, like uh, uh, our the larger scale structure. So this is somehow the uh, lattic structure. So soon this vendor the use this con conception uh, is this conception somehow uh, say this way somehow superlicity, but the steel structure. Uh, so use this. So this structure, I in the, still the sense uh, is uh, uh, latex. It's not uh, like a, a larger scale uh, without deformation and so on. So, and then, uh, so, so our purpose is, is, try, is try to realize somehow pure, only, structure, only the material without somehow the deformation, the large deformation, the pressure or something like that. So use somehow the pure structure. Okay, so that's concept. So we uh, invent uh, some, uh, we use the uh, little graphy to, uh, to fabricate uh, the uh, micro uh, frag. And then uh, and, uh, at the very beginning, that's very difficult because uh, uh, the device, uh, if we use uh, uh, atom atomic force uh, microscopy, uh, this is uh, not strong to, uh, to slide in, to open, to overcome the resistance. So, uh, uh, so we spend the years to to uh, make homemade the proper, and then the difficulty is you homemade that we 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 meet the difficulty to measure the force. We can measure the shear, we can we can reduce the shear, but we can not make the force, we measure the force. Then we uh, fortunately. Uh, at that time, there is a micro and nano polymerate. So, for realize uh, this observation, uh, okay. so. Okay, so I will go on. So, the key problem uh, at that time, so if we, we, we want to uh, have some the real real world application. So the key problem, uh, so we, 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 should, we should understand what's the nature of, uh, I mean, the structure, the real structure uh, contact, not, uh, not the deformation, like uh, through the tip. And they should understand where is the, uh, the friction come from. And also uh, we should uh, uh, characterize uh, the energy dissipation, the so why happens, and uh, finally, we want to understand the, why the material uh, degradations uh, through where. Because uh, superiority might uh, uh, accompany it with uh, zero wear. So we should also understand why there is wear. What's the uh, limit? So then, so we, then we spend years. Uh, so previously, there is no and we understand that if the pressure, uh, the normal force is not as sufficient high, then my demand without the wear. There is several uh, uh, research uh, on this aspect. But we want to understand the why the wear would appear 
and the initiated the wear and the found the critical uh, pressure. Then we made a difficulty, that is we invent another device to realize the very high pressure. So actually, uh, so we realized the maximum normal load demand zero wear is six uh, gigapower, so very, very high. And then we also realized uh, very long sliding uh, 100 kilometer without the wear. And then uh, and we also found uh, uh, observed the lowest friction coefficients uh, very low and the high speed. Uh, uh, and then the one dimension of size and the, the maximum contact area. And we can now we can achieve larger, but the way uh, still, we, we don't know why we need to achieve even larger. So, so that's the uh, technically we uh, still uh, in this range. And then in, we, we also generate, gener generate from the, the 2D material and the another 2D layer material into 2D material and the 3D material, like uh, DL. Uh, diamond uh, DLC, uh, like uh, uh, other 3D uh, 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 material, and the reality in different uh, environment. So uh, different the temperature and so on. To understand the, what's the nature of uh, structure superviscity, uh, we 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 six, we invent a technology. Uh, how to uh, open the real contact. So uh, we observed if the graphite, graphite two, two layers, the subrace only happens, the real contact two layers, the upper, the lower, they should be uh, somehow perfect uh, uh, single crystalline uh, graphene. Uh, if there is, is if on the top, if the, on the top surface or the, the lower uh, the surface, the bottom surface contains steps, then the friction will be much much higher. But if the steps is under the top, uh, the single crystalline uh, graphene, then it will fall into the uh, superviscity range. So that's the mechanism. So that means uh, for the graph for the graphite flag, uh, necessary condition uh, to achieve uh, superiority uh, should the, the single crystalline uh, graphite the whole a whole area. So so that is uh, uh, we found, and then uh, so we still found uh, because. The frack is also is still a limited size and micro micrometers. So we also uh, to check what's the uh, the contribution uh, the, the 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 real contact area and the, the age the age, and then uh, we found the inner area the friction is virtually uh, frictionless. And then the, around the edge, the per atom, the friction is somehow four to five orders higher than the inner, the area. So with this, so we can uh, have we on, as estimation. So if the size is smaller than, like diameter diameter less than 10 micrometer, the edge, Will continue will dominate the friction. So only the very large, the, the real contact area, the, the friction will be somehow uh, the, the larger uh, contributor. So that's why. So we we we, we should uh, should have a micro uh, micrometer scale, maybe not the larger. Even larger, there are many other things. I mean the deformation. Uh, so I will not mention this. But so this is one of the reasons we chose a micrometer. And then 
Another topic uh, we found we will show uh, soon. And then after fabrication of, of this uh, mensa of graphite, the, the first threading will meet a big resistance. So the, for the first shear, uh, the cleavage force from this number four, so they will increase very, very high, like this, very, very high. They have a certain job. The second, second, certain job, and then we after that we release, they will check the back, and the check the back, and then we try to um, uh, the shear again. So this force uh, uh, reduced the orders. So that is we we, we should understand why uh, at, at this age, uh, and the and interesting is why the steel the steel uh, somehow the friction. Uh, so uh, we did the experiments to show uh, we found temperature can reduce. Uh, in this case, I mean after the, uh, uh, in opening, then 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 this friction uh, we can through the temperature we can reduce uh, somehow uh, uh, twenty percent uh, uh, at least twenty percent. Uh, sometimes somehow near hundred percent. I mean. Through the uh, temperature, we can reduce uh, almost uh, the, 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 the friction zero. And then, uh, very recently, uh, uh, we found what's the real the, the origin of the friction. So that is uh, uh, very recently found. So actually, uh, during the fabrication, uh, the around the age, there is a there is a range, such like uh, thirty nanometers. In this range, in the inner area, the all the somehow perfect graphene layer, graphite layer, but around age, the creative uh, area, this is non crystal, somehow. Uh, somehow, uh, somehow diamond. Okay, so this is actually uh, because the fabrication really doesn't uh, around the age. So the contact between the the threading, uh, the upper and the lower along the age, they will need to somehow uh, like a, a DLC. So that's why uh, uh, technically. Uh, the, the, the friction origin uh, around the age. So this is uh, to, to us, for the technical point of view, this is the breakthrough. Uh, in the future, we can fabricate without the, the such age. For instance, this is where recently we introduced deformation. So to result in the, uh, somehow, uh, because this only this age, this around the age will result, they will somehow uh, long crystal uh, area. So we can introduce some permanent deformation that we can uh, only, only the inner area that will reduce two orders of friction because this without the area. So this will my have uh, better application. Uh, so they, so, so this has somehow proof. It's actually uh, 10 years ago. So use carbon armor tube. It's very long carbon, very long carbon armor tube, uh, thousands of micrometer long. Uh, we found there is no size dependent. So you can see the friction, uh, there is no dependence of size. So this is, and then, so, so we didn't understand why this, and the uh, graph graphite, they have size dependent. Now we understand why, because we create the non crystal area around age. So because of this, then we can understand the dynamics. So uh, for the dynamics, uh, you found clearly uh, uh, the dependence of the velocity. The friction depends on the velocity. So this means the uh, this is a thermal thermal inference. So uh, then uh, 
then uh, and then uh, we also without a with without if without uh, the age uh, without uh, in commensurate rate uh, we use uh, two 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 uh, two uh, heterogeneous two uh, D material and the, the mechanism uh, if without uh, in commensurate effect and the the, uh, the the major contribution was the input the 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 off the, the, of the plan uh, deformation that's a major uh, uh, contribution then we through this understanding uh, we 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 found uh, uh, this is this result uh, is the beginning uh, I, I I work in this area the 2002. And then uh, we found that there is another mechanism. It's not only uh, out of plan, but also uh, there is special the formal exciting uh, when the speed across the lattice. There was somehow the lattice cross lattice uh, this resonance will result in uh, stimulating very high uh, the energy dissipation like. Uh, there is, you can see there is no energy dissipation. They certainly will have. You can see a certain the speed can award. This have no, but a certain area, there was certain uh, uh, dissipation. So there is another mechanism uh, in uh, structural mobility. Uh, the resonance will also uh, effect. Okay. Uh, uh, and uh, if, fully uh, the 2D material contact, then we found that uh, you can have estimation uh, somehow the moral tie and the moral ring uh, can have estimation, uh, the contribution. But all of those, if the size is limited to a micro scale, those contribution is somehow ignored. So, so my conclusion is that if we limit to the micro scale, the friction majorly from the edge, the inner area you can ignore. So that's, uh, that's from the both theoretical and also experiment, experimental research, uh, the observation. So, uh, uh, so, so, so that, uh, then we focusing on if, because if the inner area without all the friction is extremely low, why the wear appear? Then we believe this is the, the, the zero wear will be a unique property of the structural mobility. So we did the experiments. Uh, the test is 100 uh, kilometer. There's nowhere, and the speed is uh, two meters per second. So very high speed, still nowhere. So, uh, so this is the proof. And then when recently uh, we did the experimental uh, work and also theoretic work to try to understand why the structural mobility uh, there will be no there will be zero wear. So actually we study the, what's the critical pressure, the normal pressure uh, that will generate uh, the wear. Then we, we, we conclude that the wear can only uh, actuate with the interlayer chemical bonds. If there will be no in the interlayer chemical bonds, there will be no wear. Zero way. So that's experiment. We we found interesting that uh, the way appear Im almost immediately after the form the chemical bonds. Then rapidly uh, the chemical bonds will result in uh, the defects, uh, larger and larger defects. So we can reasonably we can define the critical for force that's initiate. Uh, chemical bonds, that will be the, uh, uh, the, the critical pressure of uh, the wear. So we did the experiments. Uh, so this, uh, we've spent somehow 
uh, two years, uh, more than two years, because the pressure is very, very high. So we invent uh, another uh, 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 the loading device uh, so to achieve very, very uh, unique, uniform the pressure, not a high uh, concentrated uh, force. Then we achieved uh, this uh, critical uh, pressure. So that means that we found uh, for graphene and uh, for graphite and graphite, the, S, the structural uh, superiority is still robust under such high pressure. But for uh, graphite and, uh, and, uh, and the 3D material, uh, somehow uh, uh, two, two times are lower. So, and then not, so, so such high level, uh, the critical uh, pressure is very, very high. So this pressure is, is even higher than the material uh, strength. So, so for many time, many times of material strength, the pressure is lower than this critical uh, pressure. So this means the subversity, structural subversity, zero wave property is a very uh, stable and robust property. So for many, many material. So this is a uh, very exciting uh, property. So this, uh, 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 this is at the be very beginning uh, is, is only a, uh, is a guess. It's only, it's not experiments. We, uh, uh, 2016, uh, uh, I and uh, my colleague would like to uh, review article. We suppose uh, this is possible. Zero wear is possible and at the very high pressure is possible. So, uh, so, so, uh, so after somehow six years, we prove this is real. So now, so we can, we have a chance to, to redefine structure superiority from example, from instance to conception to conceptualization. So we define so-called structural superiority is a state of arginal friction and the zero wear between two surfaces in direct contact and sliding. So that's the way it can differ. Then we, they will not depend on material. And we shall, uh, if the, Two uh, wonderful material, two wonderful material we realized, like uh, a graphite, graphite. And we also show the one graphite, uh, one, one uh, wonderful material, and then another 3D material can also can achieve a uh, super uh, uh, structure super diversity. Okay. Then this enable to have a very large range of uh, application. Uh, like in macro scale, like, like a bearing, like a, a electric brush, uh, conductive strip ring, and many, many others, like a, a data storage. And then uh, it's also uh, enabled to have a device. We can in invent a device. Uh, the device, uh, very small, and with uh, uh, virtually unlimited uh, the the lifespan, so this is particularly useful for uh, uh, technology in the uh, fourth uh, uh, industrial revolution. So uh, we realized several prototype like uh, slip link, like uh, RF MEMS, like uh, generate, like storage, and so on. I will show somehow uh, uh, the detail for generate. So, you know, if you can invent uh, electric generate with, a, uh, with a size uh, very, very small, like a micrometer, like a millimeter, then you have infinity uh, uh, the application uh, possibility. Uh, uh, so we called uh, such a, uh, 
we call the such uh, electric uh, uh, generate super like super micro generate and then this has been a gene for many many years and then very recently we realized and they use conventional uh, technology is impossible like uh, you use electromagnetic uh, induction uh, inductions is impossible because the the, the, eff the efficiency and the is somehow reduced with the the size uh, three so the, if it's reduced the micro scale then there's there's no efficiency nearly zero and they use uh I use through the uh, superiority, they will be depends on not the three, but the linear. So this small size, uh, all are very high efficiency. So this is a prototype we use. Uh, this is a Scotty junction, junction only uh, conductor material and the, this is semiconductor material. So this is graphite, we realize uh, very stable, uh, uh, somehow unlimited uh, uh, the, 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 the electricity. Then what's the application? I will show you somehow uh, one example. So like uh, uh, we want to uh, imprint uh, the body. Then the imprint body uh, is like uh, everywhere in our body, we have uh, the, uh, brother, uh, uh, the brother vessel. The blood vessel, uh, the pressure change can drive the, the super uh, micro generate, that can generate the electricity. So this electricity uh, is sufficient uh, for many, many applications. Uh, so uh, I will not go through detail. So that means uh, in, in our body is actually everywhere you can imprint uh, such uh, super uh, micro electricity, then, then, then we can have uh, uh, for many applications. Another, another, another the, the new area somehow, previously we resonant is very application, very, very useful, like, uh, uh, like uh, the uh, signal and, the, and so on. Then previously the only, uh, Elastic uh, uh, resonant and they also uh, 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 magnetic resonant. Now we can introduce a new type we call electro superlubricity spleen. So this will open a new uh, uh, new uh, possibility, a very large uh, range of spleen and a very high efficiency uh, and so on. And then, then we can, uh, we also uh, invented the integrate technology. So uh, integrate such a micro into a macro scale. And uh, some technology now we can uh, realize uh, uh, very, a large number of uh, frac into a large scale uh, 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 contact. Okay, so uh, two years ago, uh, uh, in Shenzhen, uh, China, we initiated a new institute. So this is, should be at the first of in the world superior technology. Uh, so uh, uh, now, three years ago, a lot of friends. Uh, this meeting, uh, you can see uh, uh, area uh, area. Uh, uh, Ernst uh, and uh, Kubik and the many things. And unfortunately, uh, we cannot meet. Uh, we only local people here, two years. Uh, I hope uh, uh, next year we can meet. I'm sure we can, next year we will have a chance to meet uh, in Sensei again. Uh, many colleagues is here and, uh, and uh, very good. Uh, uh, devices, very good uh, devices. Uh, so I hope you, uh, you, the, you will join us. Uh, we, uh, we, we want to build a multidisciplinary uh, community with a big impact to, to the society, not only 
the science, but also uh, technology, but also application, then we can build a big, big society. So we want to focus on how section like material, physics, devices, applications, brainstorming talk, and then of course we also hire uh, many, many people. Uh, the last year, uh, the, the institute that will double the size of the population, uh, the, the people uh, from 20 to 40. Uh, this year, uh, we might have somehow 80 people. So uh, help you can join us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Some questions now? Comments? Um, a very beautiful talk and very interesting possibility of applications, so it's really nice. Uh, I wanted to, uh, you showed the, uh, the effect of velocity that can destroy this uh, sliding motion. And I, I, I didn't get uh, whether it was a theoretical or experimental uh, uh, result. Because actually, in 2000, in a physical review letter of 2000, uh, I published with my students. Yeah. Uh, that, that there was this possibility, and this paper has been ignored because was going against this fantastic idea of superlubricity at all uh, situations. So when I, yeah, didn't, yeah. I didn't get whether there was an experiment, uh, if you really saw this effect of these parametric resonances with the phonons, I was curious. Yeah, 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 yeah. You did a very beautiful work uh, uh, a long time ago, and then. Uh, we we ignore actually we ignore uh, such a, one. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I want to uh, I, so we want to somehow focus the concept of somehow uh, the, the the zero wear. So so dynamics is somehow uh, somehow ignored. So I, uh, I, I'm sorry, and then uh, so uh, my point to you. The dynamics. You had the picture, but maybe there was will the be as big, well. uh, somehow the friction. Okay. Okay. But I, I think uh, probably not the dominated factor, because the superiority we realized, we found the, the structure of superiority yeah, can be mined. You passed it just now. Very fast. Very fast. That speed I had as an estimate was about that speed where we would go wrong. Uh, it's actually, uh, we, we, this is the speed that we measured. So you still so uh, observe a very slow, very low friction at that velocity? No. No, no. Oh, okay. So. Uh, we, not that the okay, so measured the, the friction force with, with un, unable. It's actually, uh, if the friction is higher, this is impossible. So it somehow is this is the experiment somehow we pressure is actually this is the graph in uh, Mensa we pressure. Okay. We found that certainly this inner flag certainly shut out. Okay. The certainly shut out the speed we, we measure the speed is somehow the, we measure the speed the, 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 this is the, the this is the measured speed. But uh, if the friction is higher than this level, this is impossible. Because okay, the, so the, the, in this, uh, I, I like this because it's about where uh, the maximum that you could reach before hitting this resonance. So in this, I will uh, try to look better at your results. It's yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, I will send the paper to you. Then uh, they need, a, they need a research, the recent research, of course. But the, 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 the major message to, to me is that the structure, the material is still uh, stable yeah, at this state, yeah. this speed. So this is the key message. Yeah, that is share. important, yes. Congratulations, <laughs> yeah, yeah. anyhow, yes. Are there more yeah, questions? Yeah. Hmm. More questions or remarks? Well, I have a question myself. In the realizations of the devices that you have uh, been talking about, Quan uh, Shui, uh, uh, have you also mm -hmm. done uh, devices with uh, non-graphene materials? Uh, you said uh, 
the TMDs or HPN or other, um, are, they, are they suitable for devices or are devices ex essentially restricted to graphene material? Uh, so if I understand you correctly, your problem, uh, the devices we, we achieved now is a prototype. So all of those are not uh, graphene. graphene. That's, this is uh, graphene and the, uh, silicon. Uh, this is a silicon. This is a graphene and a graphite and the DLC. So long is two two D material. Uh -huh. So this is a two D material, three D three D material. So yeah. that's the device we, we achieved all the pro property. So that's why we, 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 we think if limited to the, the 2D material, uh, it's very difficult because uh, only 2D material, uh, the, the material choice is very, very limited. Thank you. There is an online question by Hongju Cho. Gao, I'm sorry, Gao. Is, uh, Dr. Gao, are you online? Uh, the question was, thanks for delivering the talk. I wonder, for square shape mesa, are the edges parallel and perpendicular to the sliding uh, uh, direction contribute to the friction or to extend your equation for different geometries? Uh, that was the question asked by Dr. Gao. He does not have a microphone, so I cannot ask, he cannot ask the question. Okay, so I, I just ignored. I uh, can you say again? I just ignored. Uh, mm. Okay. Now uh, I think we are more or less done. Uh, this is this was the last and concluded conclusive talk of this conference. So first of all, we thank uh, Professor Zing again. Thank you. Thank you.